What's up coffee campers? I'm Jason and you're watching All Terrain Coffee and Camping. Now, I want to start this with a shout out to Ghost Mule over at Everyday Backpacker. This video is happening because he did something that I would love for everyone to do. In the comments of one of my videos, he actually asked me about this subject. So, Ghost Mule, here you go buddy. This video is for you and it's because of you I'm doing it. And I'm also going to encourage everyone, if you look in any of my videos at the bottom, I put a little snippet, right? Where I, I say, if you're having problems, da, 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 if you got questions, and I leave a couple forms of contact, well, ways to contact me, right? Do not hesitate to send me any kind of questions you have. That's what I love to do. That's what I'm here for. So let's get into this video. What's this about? Coffee ground disposable, disposal, when you're out backpacking in a back country. Okay, and I don't want to start an argument with this video. So I'm gonna kinda of go into two different viewpoints that people have. We're gonna talk about definitely the leave no trace versions, which I'm a big fan of and that's what I'm gonna practice myself. But I know there's people out there that don't wanna do the leave no trace. And I'm gonna start with this part. Well, it's not that they don't want to do leave no trace, but there's certain things that they're just like, this isn't that big of a deal. So what I want to talk about is a way to, to minimalize that, right? There are people like, oh, just dump my coffee grounds out. It's no big deal. I'm not going into why that could or could not be a big deal, right? Instead, what I'm going to do is make a recommendation. So for those that don't want to pack the coffee beans out, when you go dig your cat hole, when you pull out your trusty trowel, right before you go do your business in the woods how about coffee or dump your coffee grinds in there where your other waste is going to go as well right that that does at least get you to a, a, fr a friendlier footprint you know as far as certain waste disposal goes that is in certain areas you know an allowed method dump your grinds in with it with that right so let's get into an, another way that's going to be leave no trace friendly and for a lot of people you don't even have to bring anything extra to accomplish this and what that is a lot of people when they're going out backpacking they're going to take some sort of dehydrated meal that usually comes in some sort of like a, a mylar bag so i'm also give another shout out to this company right here trailbound that a lot of people might know as trail magic as they were getting started out they make some amazing meals. Go check them out. I'm going to have all the information in the description. So when you're done with your meal, you got this bag you're going to pack out. Simple. Dump your grinds in the bag. The cool thing about these Mylar bags is a lot of them are very odor proof. So you can dump your grinds in there. It also helps keep the odor of the coffee grinds down. Right? These things are made to be heat resistant. So if your grinds are still a little bit hot and you're wanting to get on the trail, you can dump them in here. And you're good right just seal it back up put it in your pack that's all it is to it folks um, so let's say you don't use dehydrated meals now I personally I, I, I like going with companies like this that right make special meals or I like to fix my own so I usually have my lower bags just like this around and that's the other thing you can do if you're not using a dehydrated meal like this that comes in a bag like this let's say maybe you're fixing your own and you just use like a freezer bag just a regular zipper freezer bag that's not mylar you could use that as well but if you're looking for something that's a little bit more odor proof you can buy these bags um one of the name brands i like is a company called wallaby and i'll drop a link down for the bags that are pretty much this size in the description as well that way if you're interested in either using that bag instead of the the freezer bag you use now or if you just want to get some of those bags or, or look at the size of bags to be able to go then pick up another type of product to use for disposing your coffee grounds or other trash that you might have these would be a great solution for that so as always thanks for watching thanks for being awesome bye